welcome to the new series, Actually, where I clear up common misconceptions by answering questions that are definitely on your mind. If you weren't thinking about these questions, now you are. You're welcome. You'll never sleep again. Though, now that I think about it, I should probably explain the purpose of the Actually series. Remember those things you thought were weird, but the people around you chalked up to? You're imagining things, or that's just how the world works. I never gave your possible insight a second thought. We end that now. Today's actually question is, are rainbows actually alien lasers? This question has quite a few parts, so I'll explain each as best I can. Number one is rainbows. If you know what these are, congratulations. You have looked at the sky, and or seen a picture on the internet. They're those things that are curved and have seven-ish colors and happen after rain. Or if you take enough drugs. Don't try that at home, kids. There's a bunch of science-y stuff involved in their appearance, mostly light-hitting raindrops, and then summoning colors from the great color wheel in the sky that all school art teachers worship. There's also that legend about finding a pot of gold at the end of one. Though that gold is probably a mirage created by the dark elves that live underground and capture people who think screwing with leprechauns is a good idea. Spoiler alert, it's not comes aliens. These are the beings that come from everywhere but Earth and apparently have a penchant for probing people and scaring the potatoes out of random pilots because what if those futuristic spaceships are hidden inside the pyramids? Oh my god, how did I not realize this? You know, they fly in UFOs and make crop circles in random fields because maybe they feel like harvesting corn, but only if it's set in a circle. Otherwise, the corn doesn't taste as good. The future confusion of farmers adds exciting spice. They also frustrate scientists, because why aren't there any that we've found yet? Come on, the universe is so big, where are the alien ravioli that called to me in my dreams when I was seven and gave me psychic powers? <sighs> I guess the quest to meet them again continues. Anyway, the last term is lasers. Their name is an acronym that means light and sound extra rice. Because lasers are made of light and probably make cool sounds, and also like extra rice with their Panda Express order. I'm pretty sure they're focused beams of light particles that look really pretty until they fry your eyeballs. And one day, maybe a component of some super cool space weapons that make cool sounds. Lasers are mostly used in science, and manufacturing, for cutting stuff, and hopefully developing space laser swords. And doing other sciencey stuff that I have no knowledge of because I'm a liberal arts major. Bonus points for laser pointers, which might be mini lightsabers without the blade? Being fun to play with and colorful. Who knows, maybe I'm secretly a cat. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Are rainbows actually alien lasers? We will find out. First, do aliens exist? Yes. You can't convince me otherwise. Also, would these aliens have lasers? Probably. If I was in advanced civilization, I would want epic chlorine light beams, so clearly those are first priority in scientific advancement for aliens. Are rainbows lasers? I mean, they're colorful and made of light, and only appear under specific conditions. And so do lasers. Have you ever seen a laser in the wild? There you go. Would aliens know about rainbows? Well, assuming they live on a planet similar to ours, where water exists on the ground and in the atmosphere, most likely yes. Rainbows are too pretty and weird looking to be ignored. Could aliens make a rainbow laser? I mean, I'm not gonna make any assumptions about aliens. They seem pretty advanced and scientific, so rainbow lasers are definitely possible somewhere. But now comes the most terrifying and thought-provoking question. Why is their laser pointed at us? Is it some secret project designed to make humans look at the sky so they can scan our bodies and implant tiny ravioli inside of us? Are they designed to convince us that indigo is a real color? Are they beams of information that the aliens created to inform us about the underground civilization of dark elves before they rise up against us? Am I taking this ridiculous question way too seriously? Absolutely. So there you go. Rainbows are not colorful rain light things, they're actually a message from aliens telling us about the coming Dark Elf Uprising. Misconception cleared up. Stock up on those orange Halcom bullets, you're gonna need them. I've been Raina Dunoctis, currently perceiving the void. Like and subscribe if you want more jokes, don't subscribe if you're afraid of the truth, and watch out for fireflies. I haven't figured out how they keep finding me. My next video will be about a made-up product I call the Mini Portable Toaster, which you should definitely buy even though I know nothing about engineering or making food. I'll see you next time.